Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix, and this is the 2023 GMC Canyon. This is the Denali edition, and it has the jet black package. There's a lot of new things for 2023, starting with the truck's exterior. It has a different face on it, but it also has more torque. It has new features, more off-road, real off-road capability. And on the inside, completely new dash, tons of detail. So you wanna stay with us to the end. We're gonna give you a lot of information so that you're knowledgeable before you make a final decision. Let's get started with the exterior of this vehicle. First thing you're gonna note is the headlights are different. These are LED headlights, and this also changes the whole front face of this vehicle. So to help you with this, Denali adds all the chrome details, and then you buy the black edition package for $695, and then you get all this cool blacked out detail, making this vehicle really nice looking. I do like the new front end of this Denali. And by the way, this vehicle is running for North American Truck of the Year. A real off-road truck has better entry and departure angles. This has it as well as skid plates and it's got tie downs because a real truck's supposed to have it because some of the competitors don't, believe it or not. The Denali comes standard with 20 inch wheels. These are all terrain tires. There is an optional 22 inch wheel available. The approach angle on this vehicle is 33 3.3 degrees. Ground clearance, 10 and a half inches. Breakover angle, 20.8 degrees. Departure angle is 22 degrees. And the track width is 66 inches in the front and 65.9 in the rear. An optional sunroof is available and that's $1,000. The Denali is available in five exterior colors and one interior color, which we'll get to in just a minute. But this step is really nice and it's also available in all black if you really wanna to go totally blacked out. And the dealer will have additional options that you can get both exterior, in bed, and of course, for the interior. You'll also note this vehicle is literally all blacked out. It is a crew cab, it is a short bed, but it is all wheel drive. And that's what you need when you're having an off-road vehicle with this kind of breakover angle. This vehicle will be really a ton of fun off-road. Because this is a GMC, you're gonna think, oh, it's gonna have that multifunctional tailgate. It has something even newer. So when you put down this tailgate, there are two locks. You hit those unlocks and then underneath is a multi-storage area that has a drain. So you could put, make it a cooler, it'd be a small cooler, but you can also put emergency items here. So if you're going off-roading, it's always important to have a place for all your emergency equipment. You don't want to just wandering around in the back of your vehicle. Now you don't have to do that. You've got a nice little hidden area most people don't even know about. There are some nice standard features with the Canyon Denali, starting with the name that is in the bed liner. This has spray on bed liner protection, which is important. And the fact that it's standard from the factory, that means you're gonna get the protection in the bed that you need. There are also eight tie downs, and there's also a power outlet and an optional LED light. Another standard feature across the whole Canyon lineup is this built-in step, which is great when you have to get up into the bed, just put your foot in here and get up. They really thought about who's using this vehicle and how you access it, and I think that's important. This is the coolest thing you have seen. Nobody else has this. There are 10 cameras on this Canyon Denali and on all the Canyon lineup. The camera views include se a segment first waterproof front and rear underbody cameras. So when you're driving through something, this will actually show you and it's waterproof. Super really cool, and again, this also has, of course, a backup camera and an around view camera, which is standard. All these settings can be changed. You can see some of the vehicles we're testing in the driveway. Uh, this is nice, really nice information to have, as well as backup so you can get all that information that you need, as well as that trailer camera. Really, really helpful to make your life a lot easier. When it comes to the ultra premium interior, there's perforated leather appointed seats that are standard. There is one interior color and that is black, but it has really cool teak perforated leather appointments throughout. Eight way power driver's side with power lumbar and there is lumbar on the passenger side as well. This vehicle seats five people and it comes heated and ventilated seating. I do like those Denali stitching that is on the seat. The second row seats three people, two child safety latch systems, which are on the outboard side. And in the center, if no one's sitting here, there is two cup holders. There is storage behind the seat as well as under the seat. In front of you, you've got two pockets as well as two cup holders and a spot for maybe a candy bar. And in addition, you've got your vents, USB, USB-C, and a wall outlet so that you're always charging. There's also a light up above. There's pretty good leg space in this vehicle. There's a lot of improvements for this Canyon Denali. 
Under the hood is a 2.7 liter turbocharged high output engine with 310 horsepower and 430 pound feet of torque. Backed by an eight speed automatic transmission, this Canyon Denali is only available in four wheel drive, towing capacity, 7,700 pounds, fuel economy, 17 miles to the gallon city, 21 in the highway. There are four different drive modes for this vehicle. The AT4 has a fifth drive mode, but the drive modes are terrain, off-road, normal, and tow haul. The optional pro-grade trailer system is $665. The Denali Black Package is $3,495. Optional sunroof is $1,000. Soft tonneau for the cargo bed is $595. The folding hard top is $1,199. And there's lots of other dealer installed options. Inside the canyon is some massive changes, including in our Denali, which has this teak and black interior, which is standard. There's only one interior choice. We'll start off with that 11.3 inch digital center screen. And that also has an 11 inch driver's screen that is in front of you. This screen has a lot of new features, starting with the Google system. So they now have Google Assist, they have Amazon Alexa, it's got the Play Store in it so you can listen to Google Music. The GMC mobile app is all part of this. In addition, there is wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and that's all through the Bose Premium Audio System. There are a lot of new features in here. Just going into the audio system itself, this is pretty standard, what you would expect. Going back through, you've got your maps. This is Google Maps now, so this will allow you to get some all got to go through all this stuff, but you get to see what's going on with your Google Maps, something that you'll be comfortable with and you can transfer from your phone directly to your car. This vehicle has pro grade trailer towing, which allows you to put the specialty information for your trailer, as well as a checklist. It has trailer brakes and power supply in the back. All that is part of this package. In addition, you have your Google Assist and Google Play, as well as climate control. That's your Apple and Android. They're obviously dark right now because I'm not connected. Uh, additional Wi-Fi hotspot. You've got OnStar, which is one of the best systems that's on the market. OnStar gives you a lot of safety features for emergency services, crisis assist, roadside assistance, and stolen vehicle assist. All of that is part of OnStar. I really am a huge fan of that. When you go into the off-road screen, you have pitch and roll as well as max scores. You get your steering angle, your transfer case. All that information is right in here in Baja mode. In terrain mode, you also get your tire pressure. This is really great information when you're off-roading. And if you're overlanding, it gives you additional information that you will need as well as a compass and, of course, the elevation. If you're going to be off-roading, they will ask you to air down your tires. And this has an air down mode to help you so you don't bring down too much. I highly recommend you bring a compressor with you. If you're an off-roader, you already know that. This vehicle offers podcasts and Google News, so you can listen to the Total Car Score podcast. We've been doing it for quite a few years now and got some really great information, so hopefully you'll listen in on that. Your cameras and all your controls are right here, which is really nice to have all this available. Head-up display is also on this vehicle. It is a 6.3-inch diagonal head-up display, which I really like how big it is. It's bright and it's crystal clear. There's also an aircraft-style altimeter that is built into this. One of the nice features this has is all these safety features. And one of the ones that General Motors offers across their lineup is their teen driver. You have a new driver. This is great so they don't go around without their seatbelt on. The music isn't too loud. It has all kinds of restrictions that you can set up. Uh, including buckle to drive, which I really like, climate and air, your collision detection systems, all of your safety features are here. You can adjust them as you wish. And some of the safety features that are standard with this vehicle is the Canyon Pro Safety Suite, which includes lane keep assist with lane departure warning, forward collision alert, following distance indicator, front pedestrian braking, automatic emergency braking, rear cross traffic braking, blind zone steering assist, and rear park assist, to name some. There's so many other features. They finally added all these safety features, and a lot of journalists have been talking about how happy they are versus the previous generation didn't have all this, and now you can get it all right here, easy to use. Further down, you've got your three-stage ventilated and heated seats, really nice and easy to use. All of your climate controls here, big knobs, easy to use, and a volume button, which is a major plus. Further down, you've got your ventilation. This button is to put all the windows down, which is really good if the vehicle is really hot inside. My favorite button to shut off, which is the start-stop technology, lane change departure, and that's your auxiliary button. Further down, you've got wireless charging, 
USB charging of both types. And then you have your different drive modes. Now there are four different drive modes on our Canyon Denali. If you go with the AT4, you're gonna get a fifth one, which is really for going serious off-road. There's terrain, off-road, normal and tow haul modes, two wheel, four wheel drive right there, parking brake and your standard Prindle, which I do like. Further back, you have your cup holders. This is your standard key fob and the GMC logo on the other side. On this Denali steering wheel, you've got cruise control on the left, audio controls on the right, and the pages as well as the heated steering wheel. In front of you, you have an 11 inch digital screen, which is customizable. You can change that information to have whatever you would like. Isn't that nice? It's really nicely done. Super and big improvement over what they've had in the past. I like this. You can change your audio and everything right here on the steering wheel. One of the biggest improvements is the interior of this vehicle. Authentic wood trim with laser etched Mount Denali map coordinates throughout this vehicle. You will see little Easter eggs, as they call it, of little mountains, whether it's in the bed of the truck or stitched in certain areas. But this is real wood. And there's that logo right there. Again, real leather materials, really nicely done. Huge, huge improvement for the Canyon. I'm very impressed. Let's see how this vehicle does with the North American Truck of the Year Award it's going to be a finalist in my book. First thing you notice when you get into the Canyon Denali is this new engine. It's got really nice torque. There's no struggling at all with this new motor. I'm pretty impressed with the high output performance and of course the towing capacity, which is really important because that's why you own a truck. You're either hauling things or you're moving things or you're doing things. And so this truck really fits that void. Adding in all these true off-road components to the Canyon Denali, as well as the full Canyon lineup is a big improvement and it was ready for an upgrade. And I'm really thrilled with what General Motors has put into this truck because people that own trucks are using them as trucks. So we're gonna head into this old gypsum mine and see how this vehicle handles. So we're gonna stop the vehicle we're gonna go from the street mode to the off-road mode. You see it changes the modes, it's really nice. Tow haul, terrain, normal, off-road. So we are now officially in the off-road mode. So it's pretty rough here. And this canyon does absorb a lot of the bumps. Remember, this is a body on frame. So you're going to get real truck feel. You're not gonna get some sort of truck feel that's you know, these unibodies, but all the competitors are body on frame. Easy to crawl up this hill. And like a true off-road truck, this hill descent works perfectly without much effort. And the cameras, are fabulous, including the underbody camera, which is what we're looking at now. This is really nice to be able to see all the different images. So you can see where you are in front from behind. This is great. You can see on the sides, the around view. All of this is available so you can see what's going on because that is super important. I like this. This is the internet. And they're crystal clear cameras, which I think is also really important. But overall, handling, driving, acceleration, big improvements for the Canyon lineup. Lots of competition in this category. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see some of the other trucks that we've reviewed. We have a lot of them posting because trucks are super popular. And we've got a Raptor R review coming up really soon. The 2023 GMC Canyon Denali starts at $51,495. There are lots of options available aftermarket or at your dealer for installation. And believe me, once you have this vehicle and you start off-roading it, you're going to want to make it your own. And I don't blame you because this is a pretty cool truck. Now let's take a look at some of the pros and cons. I like the new interior. Finally, they have made this an off-road vehicle with a new interior that has all the big screens, all the technology that we want, and all the safety, which is super critical. Remember, this vehicle is running against a lot of competitors. And the only negative that I could think of is it's not available with a diesel engine, which, you know, GMC makes a great diesel engine. It would be nice to see that in here. Maybe in the future, you can write to GMC and let them know that's what you'd like. 
they do listen to us, which is really important. Now let's talk about the competitors. There are a ton of competitors. You've got the Ford Ranger, which now is an all new lineup, including that Ranger Raptor. You've got the Jeep Gladiator. You've got the Toyota Tacoma, which is all new for this year as well. We have a sneak peek on our channel. If you haven't seen, there are six different vehicles with three different engine lines. It's a lot to go through. You can check that out up here. In addition, you've got its sister car, which is the Colorado. And of course, you got the Nissan Frontier. So you don't want to forget all the competitors. Test drive them all. Check with your insurance agent. Find out which one works for you because it's not just the price of the car. It's the cost of owning it. And those are all factors that you need to consider. I'm sure you have additional questions about our 2023 GMC Canyon Denali. Put that down in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer your questions. If you're looking at buying one of these and you bought it, we're kind of curious why and what you bought. And if you bought something else, we kind of want to know that too. Let's open the conversation so everyone can get involved. If you'd like to support our channel, you could buy me a cup of coffee. The link for that is in the description, as well as my book, our podcast, and our website and social media. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and share and subscribe, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.